Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. So this afternoon we are going to talk. Uh, we are going to discuss, yeah, discuss what about conducting the performance assessment, yeah. Is that true? Yes, sir. Okay, before we start, please let you into uh, give the open comment, please. Okay, please from Sasal Bila, please. Hello, good, uh, good afternoon to everyone. I'm Sasa Dinasha Asli. And today we will talk about chapter 8 and what I know about this chapter. That about conducting performance review is a performance review is a formal assessment in which a manager evaluates an employee's performance, identifies strengths and weaknesses, provides feedback, and sets goals for future performance. That's all for me. Thank you. Very good. Aliza, Nabila Putri, please. So, uh, good afternoon, sir, and everyone. Today, we will talk about performance review, that this topic is talk about the experience in the workplace and mention any concern may have about day-to-day -day tasks. Employer often appreciate insight into individual employee experience so they can adjust their expectation and goals to better fit their needs. Thank you. And then Vincent? Vincent, are you in? Yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon, sir and friends. Today, uh, I'm in good condition. So, uh, today, we will talk about uh, performance review. Uh, for me, uh, performance review is a process in which manager or supervisor evaluates and provides feedback to an employee about their job performance. Usually, uh, over a set period of time, like uh, annually, semi-annually, or quarterly. The performance review typically involves a discussion between the manager and employee, where the review, the employee's accomplishment, strength, areas for improvement, and goals for the future. I think that's all, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Okay, okay. Sally, please. Hello, Sally, are you in? Okay, what do you have this? Hello, sir and everyone. Uh, my name is Fadila and I'm not in good condition today. Uh, today we were gonna talk about uh, uh, conducting performance reviews. Uh, performance reviews is a formal assessment in which a manager evaluates an employee's work performance, identifies uh, strengths and weaknesses, over feedback, and set goals for future performance. That's all from me. Thank you. Okay, okay now please, uh, Barila, lead the discussion. Take the, the time is yours, please, Barila. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, I already make some question for today discussing. Uh, today we gonna discuss chapter eight about conducting performance reviews. Um, for question number one, what do you know about performance review meeting? Anyone want to answer this question? Me want to answer. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. So. Performance review, review performance review is a formal conversation based on based upon the informal that have happened prior. The goal is to make the meeting productive and produce outcome that benefit both the employee and the company. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Aliza. Uh, anyone else want to answer this question? Me. All right. Uh, who? Salsa. <laughs> okay, Salsa. 
Okay, uh, performance has three key components such as contribution, competence, and continued growth. A performance review meeting is required to evaluate these uh, three key factors. Performance review meeting is an opportunity for employees and managers to review and assess employee progress and provides important information for both employers and employees. Important goals of performance reviews include performance planning, mot uh, employee motivation and empowerment, and learning and development. Thank you. This is a good answer, Salsa. Uh, next, we are move on to the next question. For question number two, what is the main issues concerning performance reviews? Anyone want to answer this question? Me, Fabilas. Stevenson. Uh, maybe for me, uh, the main the main issues uh, concerning performance reviews include the accuracy of the assessment, the fairness of the evaluation process. Uh, the validity and reliability of the performance metrics use the potential for bias and subjectively and the potential for negative impact on employee morale and motivation. I think that's all. Thank you. Okay, Vincent. Thank you for the answer. Anyone else want to answer this question? All right, Giver, there is one, there's no one want to answer this question. We will jump to the next question. Question number three, uh, why performance review important to us? Anyone want to answer this question? Me, me, okay, Fadila. Uh, I think performance reviews are important because they provide an opportunity for manager and employees to discuss job performance, set goals, clarify expectation and identify areas for improvement. Uh, they also can help to promote employee development and career growth and provide a basis for making decision about promotion, comp compensation and training. I think uh, that's all for me. Thank you, Fadila. All right, Vincent, that is a good answer. Anyone else want to answer this question? Me. Yeah, I... Okay, so sir. Salsa ke? Salsa ke putri tadi ya? Bebas lah. Sally dua kali. Hmm, Sally lah. Sally lah dulu. Okay, Sally. Sorry, sir. For before, I can't turn on my microphone before. So right now, I will answer for the question number three. So uh, performance reviews important to us because it gives managers with their teams and the individual members of their staff the opportunity to pause from the hurly burly of everyday life and reflect on the key issues of personal development and performance improvement. Uh, it is means of ensuring that two-way communication on issues concerning work can take place and it provides the basis for future work and development plans. Formal reviews do not supplement informal or interim progress reviews, but they can complement and enhance them and they therefore have an important part to play in performance management. A formal review is also necessary if, if performance has to be rated for performance related pay purposes. That's all from me, thank you. Thank you, Shelly, that is a nice answer. Anyone else want to answer this question? All right, if there is no one want to answer this question again, uh, we will jump to the next question. Question number four, do you know what is the objective of reviewing performance? Any answer? Uh, I want to answer this question. Okay, I do. Okay, so uh, the objective of reviewing performance that I know is the first one is to give a motivation, to provide positive feedback, recognition, price, and also the opportunities for growth, even if for the company or uh, for the employees. And then the second one is development to provide a basis for developing 
and broad capabilities relevant both to the current role and any future role that the employee may have the potential to carry out. And then uh, the last one is communication to serve as a two-way channel for communication about roles, expectation uh, is including objective and also the capability, relationship, work problems. And then the last one is also the aspiration. I think that's all. Okay, Adele, thank you for the uh, for the answer. Anyone else want to answer this question? Me. Okay, Vincent. Is it number four? Yeah. Uh, so, maybe maybe my answer will be simple, uh, not like uh, others. Uh, the objective of reviewing performance includes uh, providing feedback to employees, identifying areas for improvement, recognizing achievement and contribution, aligning performance with organizational goals, providing a basis for making decision about promotion and compensation, and promoting employee development and career growth. I think that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Vincent. Okay, we will move on to the next question, question number five. Uh, mention some of practical problems. Anyone want to answer this question? Uh, Fadila, Fatima. I want okay, to answer. Okay, so the main problem that arise in introduction performance review are fourfold. The first one we have ident identifying performance measure measure and criteria criteria for evaluating performance, and the second we have collecting factual evidence about performance, and the third we have resolving conflict between reviewers and the people they review, and last but not least we have the uh, defensive behavior ex high by the ex high by the by individual in a response to criticism. All right, thank you, Fatima. We will move on to the next question. Question number six mentioned three criteria for assessing performance. Anyone want to answer this question? Me. Okay, Salsa. Uh, criteria should not be limited to a few quantified goals. In many jobs, the overriding consideration is the employer's day-to-day -day effectiveness in meeting ongoing performance standards related to the primary function of the job. It may not be possible to agree on meaningful new quantified goals for some jobs each year. Actions that lead to consequences deserve as much attention as the consequences themselves. Thank you. Thank you, Salsa. That is a nice answer. Okay, we will move on to the next question. Question number seven. Explain the explain the point about preparation by the manager. Anyone want to answer this question? May I? May I? Yeah, Adrian. Uh, so. The point about preparation by the manager is the manager should initiate the main formal review meeting by letting the individual know what time and what place is the meeting. A period of about two uninterrupted hours should be allowed for the meeting. Uh, the next one, the manager should discuss with the individual on purpose of the meeting and the point to be covered. The aim should be as far as possible uh, to emphasize the positive nature of the process and to dispel any feeling of trepidation on the part of the individual. The manager should also suggest that the individual prepare for the meeting along the line described below. Next, uh, the basis of the preparation by manager should be the objective standard, capability requirement, and plan agree at, at the last main review. As amended during the year, achievements should be assessed by the application of appropriate uh, performance measure. Any other evidence of uh, review, good or not so for the performance, uh, is should be assembled. Reference should be made to any notes made during or following inter interview meeting and about the individual performance. Thank you, Adrian. Okay, we will jump to the next question. Question number eight. There are 10 golden rules for conducting performance review meetings. Please explain um, the answer. Anyone want to answer this question? Fadila, may I? Fatima. Fatima. 
Uh, but first of all, sir, I would like to ask you for a permission to turn off my camera because the connection is not really that good. And I'm afraid if I open my camera, I will be disconnected from this class. Is that okay, sir? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, for the question number eight, there are 10 golden rules for conducting performance review meetings. Please explain the answer. Okay, so first we need to be prepared. So managers should be prepared by referring to a list of agreed objective and their notes on a performance throughout the year. And they should form view about the reason for success or failure and decide where to give a price, which performance problems should be mentioned and what step might be undertaken to overcome them. And then some talks shall also be given to any change that have taken place or uh, contemplated in the individual's rules and to work and personal objective for the next period. And individual also shall also prepare in order to identify achievement and the problem and to be ready to assess their own performance at the meeting. And they shall also note any point they wish to arise about their work and projects. And then we have create the right atmosphere. We need to create the right atmosphere. Um, a, 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 a successful meeting depends on a creating an informal environment in which a full, frank, but a friendly exchange of which can take place. It is best to start with a fairly general discussion before getting into any detail. And then we need to work to a clear structure. So the meeting should be planned to cover all the points identified during the provision, but time should be allowed for the individual to express their uh, view fully. Mm -hmm. And then we need to use a price, which is important because if possible, managers should be uh, begin with a price for some specific achievement, but this should be sirens and deserve. And price uh, help people to relax. Everyone needs encouragement and appreciation. And then we need to let the individual to do most of the talking. So this enable them to get things off their chest and help them to feel that they are getting a fire hearing and use open-ended question or uh, example question that invite the individual to think about uh, what to reply rather than indicating the expected answer. So this is to encourage people to expand their view on the topics. And then invite a self-appraisal. So self-appraisal aim to help individuals to see how things uh, look from their own point of view and to provide a basis for a discussion. And then discuss performance, uh, not personality, so discussion on performance shall be based on a factual evidence and not opinion. And I always refer to the actual event or behavior and to result concurrent with agreed performances measures. And individuals shall be given the plenty of scope to explain why something did or did not happen. And then we have encourage analysis of performances. Uh, don't try, uh, don't don't just hand out a price or blame, but we need to analyze jointly and objectively, uh, objectively with uh, why things went well or bad or, or, the, or, or the otherwise and what can be done to maintain a high standard or to avoid problem in the future. And then we, uh, we don't need, uh, we don't deliver unexpected criticism. So there should be no surprises. The discussion should only be concerned with the event or behavior that they have denoted at the time they took the place. Feedback and performance should be immediate. So it should not wait until the end of the year and the purpose of the formal review is to reflect it briefly on experiences during the review period and on this basis to look ahead and last but not least we have agree measurable objective and a plan action so the aim should be in the review meeting on a positive note i think that's all for me thank you thank you fatima that is a really nice answer okay we will jump to the next question Question number nine, I already give a link for the video. So kindly watch this video and explain uh, what can you learn by watching the video above. Who want to answer this? May I? Question? May I? Uh, okay, okay, I think you can go first. <laughs> okay. Uh, so in this video, there is some explanation to provide us with some tips to help us 
uh, to make performance reviews more effective and less stressful for us and uh, for sure for our team members also. As we can know from the video, everyone gets a little bit anxious and stressed out about this conversation, especially for us that will become a leader or be a new leader. When we should have a training and we quite sure how to effective how to have effective performer reviews and how to solve uh, the problem that we have. Actually, we can do a bit of practice that to make sure that the reviews are very effective and actually can build and uh, nurture the relationship. The first trip to create an effective conversation is to make sure that we can invest in training ourselves because uh, most of clients didn't get any training. There is a lot of accessible uh, resources out there as well that we can take to training ourselves. Uh, there is books like podcasts and articles to help ourselves prepare and get better at performance reviews over time. I think that's all. That is a good answer, uh, Adele. Anyone else want to answer this question? Oh, Fatima, Fatila. May I? Okay. Okay, so in this video, there is some explanation to provide us with some tips to help all of us to make a performance review more effective and less stressful for us and, of course, our team members. And as we uh, as we know, everyone gets a little bit anxious and stressed out about this conversation, especially for us that will become a leader or to be a new leader. So when we shall have a training and we require uh, we quite sure how to have effective performances review and how to solve this problem. We can do a bit of practice to make sure that the views are, are uh, very um, effective and actually can build a nature, a nurture, uh, nurture the relationship. And the first tips to create an effective conversation to make sure that we can invest in a training ourselves because most of clients didn't get any training. So there's a lot of uh, access, accessible resources out there as well that we can take to training ourselves. There is book, uh, there is books, pitca, uh, video cast, article to help ourselves prepare and get better performance review over time. And the second tip is prepare. We as manager have to prepare and we need to become really clear on our intention. So we decide outcome and also key point and key talking points and a feedback that we want to talk about. So we also need to think about the def uh, development opportunity and ideas of how the employee can develop themselves. So then this is the video also explain about a set expectation and set objective and also explain about feedback in a subjective. That's all from me. Okay, thank you, Fatima, for the answer. All right, uh, we will move on to the last question. For the question number 10, what is your conclusion after discussing this capture? Who want to answer this question? All right, if there is no one want to answer this question, I will answer this last question after learn about this capture um <clears throat> for my opinion i already learned a lot about the performance review meetings and uh, i also learned about the <clears throat> performance review issues that is and why have the medal or if they are necessary what are the objective or review performance and then i are i also learn about uh, the objective of performance reviews and some practical of the problems in this capture that is about identifying, collecting factual evidence and resolving the conflict. And then I also learn about organizational issues that is getting senior management approval and then on, on who should a performance review focus and then on what should be performance review meeting focus and then uh, when should reviews be paid and then I also learned about criteria for assessing performance and then also there is the impact of management styles and I also want to thank everyone who attend this class today and participate this class this discussion and answer all of my questions that I already give. Um, that's all from me for this discussion today. Thank you so much, friends and sir. Yeah. That's all from me. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you. So all of you have your friend uh, leading discussion. 
uh, talking about the performance review. So performance review is very important. Yeah. So it can be done every month, right? Every three months or quarterly, yeah. every six months, yeah. It's the uh, performance review. Yeah. So what so the performance review must have the objective, what's the other performance review? So right? like the student also the lecture must also review the student performance, yeah, right? So the lecture must do review uh, twice in one semester, yeah, one term, yeah. So like the midterm test and the final term test, so this is just like a review, so right? Yeah, how far you have mastered the, the lecture, yeah. This is the review twice, yeah. Every maybe every seven meeting, yeah. So every seven meeting you are given test, right? And and then is it you are given the midterm test? It is the midterm test is intended to review your performance, right? Yeah, so you have have seven meeting, and after seven thing, have uh, have you mastered the, the lesson or not? Right? Do you understand? You understand or not? It's the perfect performance, yeah. And then so that's twice, yeah. And so after the final test, so you will get the result, the the score, so right? Yeah, whether you have good, if you have good, uh, you have good performance or not. Whether you your performance is uh, meets your expectation or not, like that. Yeah, so it's the the the. The objective is to yeah to know whether your people has achieved the goal or not, so right? And then uh, if not, so uh, the people must improve the the performance. This is the, the intended of the performance review, so right? And also you must also you, know, you must also review your uh, your own performance. Yeah, you can do review your own performance. Yeah, daily, so right? What have you done today? Yeah. As you as what you have done, uh, meet your expectation or not, like that, yeah. Are you satisfied with your own expectation? Uh, if you're not, what did you do? Yeah, it's a review. Sometimes you can you can ask other people to review your performance, right? You can ask the ask your friends judgment opinion, yeah. Just like okay, it is it, yeah, it is it is the the, the conclusion. So. So, review for performance rate is very important. So every manager must do this, yeah. When you are the manager, you must do this. You must always review your people's performance, right? So you must remember the performance management cycle, yeah. You must plan. You must do. You must have plan, plan first, and then monitor your your people's expectations, right? And then execute the but the expectation and then rewards yeah and renew is the performance review cycle yeah okay, okay so today is actually today we will have offline class because Padilla is is not in, is not in good condition she gets sick so she asked me to, to do online class right so today yes, we have online yeah actually I will go to Intan but because of because your friend's condition is not good, and because he's the lead, uh, the leader of the discussion, yeah, uh, I I do I do the online class today, yeah. Yes, but, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not in good, yeah. So because the 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 weather is also very hot, yeah, very hot today, so that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, before we I think before we end this this course, so let you give the closing remark, yeah. What, what have you got from this discussion and what benefits have you got from this discussion and how will you implement this theory in your daily life or in the future? Okay, please from South service. Mm -hmm. Today I learned so many points of view about conducting performance review and it helped me to give uh, more knowledge about HRM, especially about chapter 8. Thank you for all my friends that participated in this discussion and thank you for Fadila who led uh, the discussion the best way possible and I hope we will keep the spirit until our last performance management class. Hey, please, Ali Jana Bila Putri. So today we learn about performance review and 
we hear so many uh, discussion from our friends today. And what I got is performance review give about the company and the employee important feedback. Uh, they provide the opportunity to employee to receive recognition for a job well done or to highlight area that may need more attention. So uh, I hope with today discussion, we will can implement the knowledge. Thank you. Okay, Afina Delia. Hello. Hello. Okay, uh, so today we already learning about conducting performance review. So today I get a lot of knowledge about uh, about how to review a performance. Uh, it is inside of the company or in its employee also. And then today I'm already uh, learning about how important is performance review, how important is like the objective of reviewing performance. And then also uh, there's a lot of things that I have been learned today that is really beneficial, not only today, but also in my future. I think that's all. Okay. Sally, please. Um, I would like to say thank you for those who give contribution to give answers, which can make me know more knowledge about this chapter. And also, I would like to say thank you to Fadila to lead this discussion so well. And also for get well soon also. And keep spirit for us until the end. Thank you. Okay. Adrian Sal. Okay, sir. So first of all, I would like to thank Sir Adi for your uh, holding today's discussion and to all our friend and Fadila to let today's discussion about conducting performance review. Uh, I learned a lot from today's discussion because giving a good performance review is really important to develop our our performance and our employee and i hope today discussion will make us aware about the importance to giving and conducting a good performance review that constructive uh for our employee and give a develop factor for our business i think that's all sir okay fatima jara uh, okay, so in this chapter eight, uh, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for Fadila for leading the discussion and everyone to participate in this discussion as well. And of course, honorable mention to Sir Adi for giving us an opportunity to have a discussion together. So I think from this chapter eight, we learned that review helped to provide us uh, more clarity about company goals and expectation. We also learn um that there are a few aspects that we can consider to help us to plan and map out a future position and candidate requirement. And there are so many things as well. Uh, I don't have any specific wishes, but hopefully everyone will always give their contribution until the very last discussion of our, just like what Salsabila said, and we can practice what we have learned in this class in the real life later on. I think that's all from me. Thank you. Vincent? Uh, thank you, uh, before, uh, before that, uh, thank you, uh, Fabiola, for lead our discussion. Uh, and then, uh, thank you for other friends to giving. Uh, uh, I hear so many uh, good uh, opinions from there. Uh, I also learn uh, more about uh, performance review, and I hope uh, we can still together and. Uh, until the end, I think that's all. Thank you, sir. Okay, then Pia, please. Then Pia, put the Aspasia, please. Um, first, I want to say thank you to Fadila for this discussion very well, and also um, I hope you recover very soon. Um, what I learned about today's topic is that a review is something that is very important. It has always been a part of a plan that we set to achieve the goals. So it is um includes the people 
all over um, the workplace, I think um, we have to know that review is about to develop. Review is always about we reviewing each other about um, we have to ha always have a positive attitude in the workplace. We always um, have to adapt easily into the rapid change in the workplace. And then I we should know that um, our performance is in our hands. So we, the one who know our own performance, we have to tell to the manager, we have to tell to the people uh, when we're doing a review. Um, that is important because we want to know how far we go. We want to know um, the change that happened since the beginning we planned something and then the process to achieve the goals. So I think that's why um, performance review is important. Um, ten, and thank you, Sir Adi, uh, for today's um, discussion um, for all friends. And thank you. That's all from me. Uh, Adila. Hello, Padilla. Okay, so I will ask you. Yes, sir. Okay, please, you give the closing remarks. Okay, um, my conclusion for this chapter, what I learned about this chapter is <clears throat> uh, um, give me more knowledge about uh, conducting preview performance. Uh, and then I know how to uh, create an effective conversation in organization. And then I also know that uh, stressful and stressful and in the organization is the main problem that we as the manager should uh, find the effective ways to solve these problems and I also learn a lot about this review uh, review uh, performance review that is uh, really good about uh, to my real life that is that is all from me sir thank you okay so I want to ask you what about next week offline or online? Online, sir. Online. Okay, so, uh, Papi, I, don't, I, I will tell you the time later, yeah? Maybe at 2 or in the evening, yeah? So, next week, so the leader is Fatima, yeah? So, chapter 9, yeah? Fatima. Yes, sir. Chapter 9. What, what is it about? Uh, I haven't read the chapter 9, but wait, sir. Okay. I think uh, they, I think that's all for today's discussion. I think, thank you very much for your time and attention. And keep your health, yeah, because now, now the weather is very, very hot, yeah, outside, yeah. Okay, see you later next Thursday, yeah. Okay, goodbye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Keep healthy, sir. Welcome. You can leave the room. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Welcome.